2018 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Review. The 2018 Toyota Highlander Hybrid offers what matters most to midsize SUV buyers, an upscale, practical interior and pleasant around town performance. Its excellent fuel economy is icing on the cake. New for 2018 No major changes Pros and cons Good fuel economy Strong acceleration Many standard driver assistance features Lackluster handling Low safety scores for class the 2018 Highlander Hybrid is a great hybrid and a pretty good midsize SUV. Its cargo room and passenger space are about average for the class. Though the Highlander Hybrid boasts plenty of standard features, some can be difficult to learn. The hybrid engine setup delivers good power and comfortable ride quality, but the SUV steering is uninspiring and the brakes can be touchy. A premium quality cabin and high fuel economy numbers for a crossover complete the package. You should buy the Toyota Highlander Hybrid if you want three row utility and space, an upscale cabin, lots of advanced safety features, and some of the best fuel economy you can get from a mid size SUV. If you were already considering a heavily optioned model of the standard Toyota Highlander, the hybrid is a good, though more expensive, option. However, the hybrid's fuel savings over five years will make up for its higher initial cost. If you're on more of a budget, you may want to consider a smaller hybrid SUV like the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. While it has a less appealing interior and only five seats, it's still a worthy competitor. We analyzed 29 Toyota Highlander Hybrid reviews, along with safety scores, reliability ratings, and more, to help you decide if the 2018 Highlander Hybrid is the right SUV for you. The Highlander Hybrid was fully redesigned for the 2014 model year. It has not seen a full redesign since, but it did undergo a significant refresh for 2017. There were no major changes for 2018. Therefore, this overview uses applicable research and reviews from the 2014 through 2018 model years. The 2018 Toyota Highlander Hybrid has a strong power rain that provides brisk acceleration and good fuel economy. Ride quality is laudable as well, but the regenerative brakes can feel choppy when engaged. The Highlander Hybrid's power rain consists of a 3.5-liter V6 engine and three electric motors, all together, the setup produces 231 horsepower. A continuously variable automatic transmission and all-wheel drive are standard. The 2018 Highlander Hybrid gets 29 miles per gallon in the city and 27 miles per gallon on the highway. Engine power and acceleration are strong, whether the vehicle is accelerating from a stop or already moving. It also runs quietly and has a smooth transition between electric and gas power. The Highlander Hybrid has a soft and comfortable ride quality, even over bumps or holes in the road. Some reviewers say the steering has good feedback, while others claim it feels numb. However, most can agree that the hybrid regenerative brakes are a little unrefined and will take some getting used to. The 2018 Toyota Highlander Hybrid has a high quality interior with premium materials. Most seating accommodations are comfortable, but the third row is on the small side, typical for a mid size SUV. Cargo space is just about average for the class. There are numerous standard features, but fulfilling some functions requires multiple steps. The Highlander Hybrid seats up to 8. Cloth seats and a secondro bench seat are standard. Optional upgrades include leather seats, heated front seats, 
an 8-way power adjustable driver's seat, a 4-way power adjustable passenger seat, a leather-trimmed steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats, Secondro Captain's Chairs reduces capacity to 7, a heated steering wheel, and heated Secondro seats. The Highlander Hybrid has two complete sets of latch car seat connectors in the second row, as well as tether anchors for both rear middle seats. The latch system earns good reviews for its ease of use. The first two rows are comfortable for passengers, and the middle row slides to allow for easier access to the rearmost quarters. The last row is best left to children, though smaller adults can fit. Standard features in the 2018 Highlander Hybrid include proximity key entry, push button start, 5 USB ports, Bluetooth, a 6 speaker audio system, a 6.1 inch touchscreen infotainment system, a rear view camera, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, automatic high beams, and adaptive cruise control. Optional features include trees and automatic climate control, a moonroof, a panoramic moonroof, a 120 volt power outlet, driver easy speak, satellite radio, HD radio, a 12 speaker JBL premium stereo, an 8 inch touch screen, navigation, the Intune app suite, front and rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, rain sensing windshield wipers and a surround view camera. Most controls are easy to reach from the driver's seat, but the infotainment system takes some effort to set up. Some functions can be hard to perform, for example, you can't jump back to the navigation screen without going through a number of menus. The 2018 Highlander Hybrid has up to 13.8 cubic feet of cargo space behind its third row. 42.3 cubic feet behind its second row, and up to 83.7 cubic feet with all rear seats folded. Those values are about average for the class. A power tailgate is optional, as is a rear glass window that opens independently of the hatch. Cargo room in the Sorrento is limited but convenient. There's only 11.3 cubic feet of space behind the available third row seat one of the smallest spaces in our best three row SUVs. Likewise, the Sorendo's 38.8 cubic feet of cargo space behind the second row seat, and 73 cubic feet overall, are below average. And cabin storage is better, with numerous cubbies on hand. Kia also offers a smart lift gate that opens automatically when the SUV detects the key behind the vehicle, granting you hands-free access.